Hi, welcome to Movie Short Flicks. Today I'm going to explain to you the film called Blast from the Past. Warning, spoiler ahead. Anyway, enjoy watching. As the Soviet Union approaches, every household in the United States are encouraged to construct a secret fallout shelter during the year 1962. Dr. Calvin Weber is one of them. He built a bomb shelter in the backyard. During the Cuban Missile Crisis, he believes that the issues are going to escalate. He then takes his pregnant wife, Helen, into the shelter. At that moment, the pilot of a plane lost his control, and the plane crashes into their home. Calvin assumes the bombing has come exactly as he estimated. The shelter's locks, which were designed not to open for 35 years, are activated automatically soon after that. Calvin decides to spend the next 35 years in this steel bunker to wait out the half-life of radioactive contamination. The authorities and the neighbors believe that the Webbers were killed in the crash. Meanwhile, underground, Calvin assists Helen in giving birth to their baby boy Adam in the shelter. He applied the knowledge he has self-prepared in advance. Calvin is a genius because he transformed the base into a fully functional area. They have everything from electricity, TV reruns, even plants. There is also a huge mall and a fish tank in the shelter, offering the family enough food for years. Adam is nursed in the love of his parents day by day. In 1965, a cafe is built above the shelter. Meanwhile, Adam starts to dream about life on the surface. Calvin teaches him science, martial arts, sports, and even politics. Helen, on the other hand, shares more social skills to the boy, including dancing, gentleman manners, and appealing girls. In 1975, the cafe is turned into a pizzeria. Down the ground, Calvin teaches Adam about stock markets and different languages. Adam appears to be a prodigy with a great sense of humor. Calvin gives Adam his baseball cards, which apparently are limited back in the time. Finally, the year of 1997 has come after 35 years hidden. The shelter facility experience dramatically degraded. The auto lock mode is also switched off. The family shares the great moment together after all these years, getting ready to go up on the surface. On a normal day on the surface, the ground suddenly becomes shaking. The two homeless men think of it as another earthquake. However, Calvin comes up as planned from the ground in a radiation suit. His arrival shocks the homeless men. Calvin can't believe his house has changed to an abandoned bar. He sees in the present world strangely alters to something he can't imagine before. He encounters many questionable people and events as he returns to the surface. Later at the base, Calvin tells Helen and Adam that the humans were irradiated mutants. The ground world is still dangerous to risk coming back. Calvin decides to stay in a bunker. This turns Helen crazy. She strongly objects to staying in the shelter any longer. Calvin suddenly has a heart attack and becomes seriously ill. At the same time, the supplies are running out. Helen thinks it is better to send Adam to the ground and buy everything they need. Adam packs everything to leave the shelter for the very first time. Calvin reminds Adam not to visit the adult bookstore because it contains unseen toxic gas. Adam comes up in a homeless man's surprise again. Adam is very excited to see the real sky for the very first time. When passing the adult store, Adam gets panicked and quickly stays away from it, thinking it toxic as told. On the bus, Adam continues to speak from his thought knowledge, but that obviously doesn't seem normal to the present life. People think he's crazy and give him an irritated look. Adam finally arrives at the grocery store. A butcher who thinks that if Adam places a large order, he can deliver it to Adam's house. At this point, Adam realizes that he has forgotten the way home. Adam gets lost in the city. He keeps looking for the abandoned house where his shelter is located. As running out of cash, Adam thinks it is a good idea to sell his father's classic baseball cards. The shop owner learns Adam is silly man who offers the valuable cards for a surprisingly cheap price. Adam meets Eva, a shop's assistant. Eva helps Adam to expose the cheat owner. She tells Adam that each of his cards cost at least 6,000 US dollar, not 500 US dollar for the whole box. Adam soon has a crush on Eva. Eva then takes Adam out of the store and quits her boring job. When talking with Eva, he tells Eva that he comes from Alaska. Unaware of the value of money, Adam offers two rare cards so Eva can drive him to the hotel where his mother told him to stay. The following day, Eva decides to return the cards to Adam, feeling guilty. Adam asks Eva to help him buy supplies in two weeks. She'll earn $1,000 a week. Adam quickly has a strong chemistry with Eva, but she keeps ignoring him. Every day, Eva and Adam purchase the goods as Helen listed. Adam is supposed to store the supplies for two years. 
He also asks Eva to help him find a wife. That woman should be in Pasadena, California. And based on his mother's advice, a Pasadena's woman is not a mutation. To get a wife, Adam is taught to drive a car. Eva also asked her gay friend called Troy to provide Adam advice about fashion for makeover. Eva and Troy take Adam out for skating, which Adam has been longing for in the shelter. Next, Adam has a chance to swim in the sea for the first time. He also watches a real baseball game in reality. Even a rain seems to be a miracle to Adam. When Eva agrees to be his first best friend, Adam embraces her with appreciation. At night, Eva and Troy take Adam to a disco where Adam is supposed to get a wife. Charming Adam soon finds a woman and starts to chit-chat with her in French. This irritates Eva although she keeps a distance with Adam so far. Adam wows the crowd with his dancing talent. Jealous Eve reunites with ex-boyfriend Cliff. Adam interrupts the two which provokes Cliff to attack Adam. Now Adam has a chance to show his boxing skills, which he was trained by his father every day. Cliff gives up and leaves. Later, she abandons Adam at the bar to go home. When Troy arrives home, Eva becomes worried. She rushes out to look for Adam, thinking that he might get lost again. However, Adam appears and scares Eva, making her hurt in the knee. While taking care of Eva's injury, the two confess their feelings to each other. Adam tells Eva that he politely rejected those women's requests because he could only think of Eva. Adam has his first kiss in life. He decides to reveal his true identity to Eva, telling her about his family and their life in the shelter. Adam hopes to take Eva to the bomb shelter and live with his life. However, Eva thinks Adam makes up the story like a madman. She sends Adam to the hotel after that. The day after, Adam finally finds the abandoned bar where his shelter bases. He quickly arrives at Eva's house to let her know. Here, Eva introduces Adam to a psychological doctor, thinking Adam is under mental problem. Adam sadly says goodbye to Eva and Troy. However, Adam quickly escapes from the doctors, asking Eve and Troy to collect his belongings and pay the hotel bill. Adam reunites with his parents in a bunker after two weeks away. The homeless man follows him, saying that he would help Adam to load the supplies down in the shelter. Later, other homeless people join in to carry the goods down before Adam gets caught to the mental center. At Adam's hotel room, Troy and Eva realize Adam is not a crazy man. They find his things are actually from the 60s. Troy also finds valuable stock certificates from IBM. The true values are millions in the present. Adam was telling the truth the whole time. Troy takes Eva to the place where Adam passed by this morning, hoping to meet Adam again. However, they can't find him. When leaving, Eva accidentally sees Adam again, who is rushing to the shelter. They embrace and kiss. At the moment, Calvin prepares to lock his family inside again for 10 more years. Adam takes Eva to see his parents. Eva soon gets along well with Adam's family. Adam tells his parents that he needs to arrange things with Eva before coming back to the underground. Calvin and Helen agree to let the shelter lock for two months. During this time, Adam and Eve sell his father's stocks. Later, he builds his parents a new home in the country. It is identical to their house that was destroyed in 1962. Adam reveals there was never an atomic war. There wasn't any bombing and instead was a plane that had crashed into their house, and the Soviet Union actually collapsed. However, being unconvinced, Calvin plans to build a new fallout shelter while Eve watches him and plays with her engagement ring. Smash the like button. Like you smash your mama's ass. Comment your reaction and don't be a bummer. For more videos, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. Anyway, thanks for watching. Goodbye.